So let's let's talk about the movie Mundo. Yeah. Then let's talk about that and let's see how you got started with that one. Who got you in that? Yeah. And how did the process go? Pete and uh, Pete saw Mr. Bollinger saw that um, the film The Neighborhood, and then he said, "Hey, I want to give this guy an audition." You know, it's uh, Mundo was um, Mundo to this day has been the hardest film I've ever had to do, Gunnar. Um, you know, and if we're going to be real, I mean, are, am, am I able to be real here today, Gunnar? Yeah, this is all truth right here. All okay, truth right here. Um, this is Mundo was the hardest film that I've ever had to do more than show zombies. And show zombies, I'm in makeup for hours. I got to put contacts in. I got to have blood all over me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Walk around. And I mean, you've been on set with me. You know what I'm saying? You've yeah. seen how it's like, you know, Mastro is a character, man. Yeah, that's a minimum yeah. one hour of makeup time. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know? And so it's, um, but with Mundo, I, I got I got told everything under the sun that you could imagine, couldn't I? You know? Um, I remember um, I brought No G. You know who who was a friend of mine. I don't I don't I don't I don't have you know I don't hate Noel. You know he's done a lot of different films. You know um, I consider Noel a friend at that time, and um, I brought him in. Um, I told him, hey, this is a it's a Christian film. It's a film about you know, and everybody knew who Mundo was. Mundo was you know he, he would. I mean, come on, man, look at what he did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And it's oh, and man. for those that don't know. Yeah, Mundo. It's a movie of Mundo Mendoza, and it's called uh, Mundo from Alter Boy to Hitman, and it's about Mundo Mendoza that turns state's evidence against the the Mexican mafia. Yeah. So they made his uh, movie about his life, and that's what Vince played Mundo in the movie. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you know what? We film. I brought Noel in and got him paid. I got him paid well. Um, he did the film. They wait. They and then the very next day. He texts me and he says, hey, I want out the film. And I was like, what the heck? You know what I'm saying? How can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he's like, I want out the film. He's like, you know what, man? Uh, I'm scared. Uh, you know what? Um, I, I, I'm being fed in. I don't want nothing to happen. And I'm like, well, I go, dude, I go, what, what's, what's going on? And um, I go, if anyone would have been hurt, it would have been Vince Romo. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, I, I appreciate, I'm not going to say, there is a, a camarada of mine and he knows who he is. I won't say his name. But he said, he's all, you know what, homie? You're just an actor, Holmes. That's what it is. You're just an actor. And you know what? We understand, homie, that's your hotline. We ended up working only because of all the drama that was going on. Then, uh, you know, I ended up coming back. Then they were going to fire me from the film now because they were like, man, you know, because as I said, I was going to set and I was kind of like stressed out, you know? And, and I remember I kept telling, you know, uh, Cedar Films, I said, this is not Vince Romo. This is not the actor that you guys got to play this role i go you got to understand you know i'm hearing left right right left up down north south you know what i'm saying what are you doing why is this and you know but i thank god honestly i do thank god that we got past that because that film that gospel film that christian film has opened many doors for me you know so i do thank god for that film you know yeah. and um but it was the hardest film of my life you know because yeah. just uh everything that that i had to go through that my family had to go through you know there was a lot of drama, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And, and the way I see it is this, that because it was going to bring glory to God, it was going to bring people to the cross. It was going to like be something that somebody can see it and say, man, if this guy, Mundo Mendoza was so like, at that time was so full of evil that he yeah. killed all these people. If he can be come to the road of redemption, yeah. why not me? You know what I mean? Well, so the way I see it is the devil was the one attacking you. He was the one throwing those obstacles and, and trying to put those bumps in the road to stop you from making this film that was going to be glorifying God. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, the, and the big story of it all, it was to glorify him. No, so you not. know what? So even though you had to walk through that fire, hey, thank God you did it because who knows how many people have been saved by that. In this film, were you ever approached by anybody with an organization? Any, were you threatened? in any way um no i wasn't i wasn't threatened in any way man you know what um in fact uh you know most of the people you know our gente show me love but um there were people that you know that you know i got as i said you know i got calls from attorneys i got calls from you know people saying you know what we're gonna sue you we're gonna take you to court uh because you're 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 over here doing this film and you're mentioning people and i was like I'm not mentioning nobody. I yeah. just did was a film. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was just making a movie. And I was like, you're barking up the wrong tree. Yeah, you know what because, I'm saying? Yeah, you're yeah. just the actor. Yeah, you're not I'm, like I'm, production or uh, 
the filmmaker. Yeah, yeah. That, that's exactly right. You know, um, I, I that's exactly what I was like, man. You know, and, and it was stressed. It stressed me out so much that I remember I even yelled at the attorney. I yelled at the attorney because I go, dude, you guys are freaking causing me so much stress and panic. I said, leave me the hell alone. That's that I told him. I said, leave me the hell alone. I go, if you want to talk to anybody, go to Cedar Films. You know what I'm saying? Don't bother me. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I, to this day, um, I don't know how they got my phone number. Um, a lot of people from the, the, you know, the organization, while, while the church, you want to say, had my number. So I'm sure that, you know, that that's how they probably got yeah. it. Yeah. You know, but. Um, and you know what? That, that's sad when. Um, you go to church and like you said, it's supposed to be your refuge. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're supposed to like be your biggest supporter and say, yeah. hey, you know what, Vince? Hey, thank God you're doing what you're doing to give God the glory. And hey, you know what? We're here. We got your back. But instead you got shunned and yeah. you got, you know, persecuted I for did. something that you did to do your job. That's exactly and, right. To, yeah. to do my job. And, you know, I just want to say it's not it wasn't everybody from, you know, what I'm saying from, you know, the fellowship. It wasn't everybody, you know. But it was some, you know, people that just got very upset with me and all because I was doing my job, you know, which, which is a shame, Karnal. But you know what I'm saying? I wish them all well. I don't speak any ill will towards them. Um, it was very stressful. I wish they would have, you know, as I said, uh, loved on me. I wish yeah. they would have prayed for me. You know what? Um, and if they were concerned, you know, for me, that's what, you know, I feel that that's what we should do, you know, pay, pray for the brother, pray for his family, cover the family, you know what I'm saying? Not shun him, not, you know, not turn on him, not push him away, you know? Yeah. And exactly as you said, from doing my job, just doing my hale. So we'll say like right now, Vince Romo, like what they did to you and all the people that did that to you, you forgive them. Oh yeah, most definitely. You I forgive mean, them and you pray for them. Yeah, you know what? Because, um, you know, without forgiveness, you can't be forgiven. Yes. And as Amen. you know, you know, um, I do go to church. I'm not a perfect man. You're not going to find a perfect man if it's Romo because I can't walk on water. Um, you know, so that's why I, I, I pray to the one that can. Yeah. But, um, you know, and, and I've always been, you know, adamant, like I say, um, of my belief in God. You know, and it's, as you know, I have many crazy friends. You know, Marilyn Manson's a good friend of mine, you know, who's, but, you know, I mean, I love God. And sometimes, you know, uh, he tells me things that are pretty funny to me, you know, because he's like, wow, you know, here, here, you, you talk about God, but you're my homie, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you yeah. know, and not only him, but so many others, you know, because no matter what, and, and whenever I'm on set, you know, it could be a, a $50 budget film. I'm just saying that, you know, there's no such thing. Or it could be a $50 million film. I'm still going to always bow my head before I eat that food, you know, before we go, you know what I'm saying, to, to lunch, because I got to give God his reference, you know, his reverence. If it wasn't for God, I wouldn't, you know, be on a movie poster. I wouldn't be like, I'm excited about the Cho Zombies t-shirts. You know, I don't know if you've seen yeah, them. Yeah, you I know, saw it. Yeah I, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be on, you know, on the t-shirts. I wouldn't be, um, they're even talking about doing toys, you know, of yeah. Monstro. And you know what I'm saying? It, it wouldn't be, if it wasn't for God above, I would not be able to be where I'm at, to be where I'm going, and to, to wherever God has for me in the future, you know? So I always got, I got to give God his credit. No matter how many times I may fall, yeah. I may walk out the door and fall. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I mess up. But the thing is that it's not how many times you fall, they're not, it's how many times you get up. You know, yeah. but sometimes people will say, well, you know what, you're making excuses and yada, yada, yada. But, you know, that's fine because at the end of the day, we're all going to stand before God alone. As last time I checked, you ain't going to be with me, Kerner. Nah, no. You know what I'm saying? You got to go walk up there on your own. That's it. So the movie, I mean, uh, Mundo. Yes. All right, you got that completed. And that one right there, even though it's a, like a low budget movie, yeah. But the thing I like about it is that it's all facts. It's yeah. all real. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's not like doctored up, like Hollywood, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it's all real, it's all true. And if you want to get like a true story of an organization like that and what Mundo was a part of, watch that one. Uh, it's available everywhere. Uh, it's Mundo from Alter Boy to Hitman. Great movie uh, starring Vince Romo.